Oh, but why do I have to learn the F chord? I'll give you a reason. Let's do it. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to learn Save Tonight. Now, this is, if you want like a quick tutorial of this, this is not the tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to really get our hands dirty with some of the rhythm elements of this song. So one of the requests I've, I've gotten from students is they always struggle with the rhythm and they're not really sure if they're playing it right or even they don't even know how to do the right rhythm. And a lot of these instructional videos kind of just graze over that. So we're going to get more detail. We're going to break it down into the fundamental subdivisions of the song. I'm going to show you the, the rhythm in the song, and then I'm going to show you, like I said, those little breakdown elements of the rhythm. I'm going to show you the chords and everything. So it's going to be fun. Sit back, grab a nice beverage, and your guitar, of course, and let's do it. Oh, don't forget to tune up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through these chord shapes. So they're pretty easy, um, and I'm going to give you some variations on a couple, or actually one of the chords, which is going to be the F chord, but let's go through these. Take a look at that sheet above you. Hopefully you can see it. It's an A minor, a very easy chord. One little trick that they're going to do on this A minor is they're going to hammer on. So hammer on is basically hitting a note and then hammering on to the, uh, another note and creating that next pitch, but it's only struck once. So it's like this. So we're lifting up our second finger and hammering down like that. So we get this, just like that. So in the song, they actually kind of strum the chord and hammer on real quick after it. So they get this. So you can kind of practice that on that chord. They also do that on the C chord in this song, which is this chord. Hopefully you should know, already know this chord. Just like that, hammer on. All right, so here's the order. This is the actual order of this. It goes like this, A minor. Next chord is gonna be F. Now there's a lot of different ways to play an F. Let me give you all the different versions and you can choose which one's gonna be the easiest for you to begin with. And then I'll show you the one that I think you should probably end up on. Here's one that, here's an F chord that a lot of people learn. Barring here, adding the second finger there, third finger right there. That's a good one. Here's another good one. I like this one for the song. I'm muting this first string right there. Got my first finger there. I've got my second finger there. Third and fourth, just like that. This thumb is like, I don't know, it's just like hanging out up here. So usually it'll kind of mute that first string right there. So just uh, make sure it just doesn't do something like that. Occasionally I see students with the thumb over there. So bad thumb, bad thumb. So we go like this. Just like that. Now in the song, so what I'm doing, I'm actually just trying to play the middle four strings, but if I accidentally hit that top string, hopefully I got that muted, and also muted on this first string by this first finger. Nicely muted. There we go. So I can actually get away with strumming all six strings, and only those middle four strings are ringing. All right? Now, you could also do the bar chord like this, or sorry, F chord like a bar chord. Just like that. That may you some of you are probably already know that one. I like this chord for this song. It does make actually make making that transition from the C a little tricky. I think this version of the F chord is a little bit easier to go to the C because it moves fast. The song is about 120 beats per minute. So uh, so, you, but you can use this one. The reason why I kind of like this one in the song is I do hear some of this little bit of this meatiness on the top strings here, and which you can get with this shape, but you have to get that thumb to actually push down on that one, and that's even that's hard for me to get that. So here's what I would recommend. First, start with this one. Don't worry about getting that note here. Just kind of mute that string. And mute that bottom string if you can. Because that'll make going to the E C chord much easier. And what you eventually want to do is grow, graduate to this using that. Or, like I said, another like second or third version of this would be to use it like that. But see if you can try to play it like this with the mute here. But I just kind of wanted to show you all those options on that F chord. Next chord is C chord. I already mentioned we're going to do a little hammer on on that C right there. So 
and we're going to go to a G. And the G that I'm using is this one, which is two fingers down here, like that. Uh, first finger here, second finger right there. He may be muting this string here, but I definitely hear this note, that guy right there, and I do kind of hear him sneak that guy in there too. And if you're good at muting this string, you could only, you could just use these three fingers. You don't even need this guy right here. There we go. Pretty simple, right? All right, so let's break this down. Now the rhythm is kind of tricky. It uses 16th note rhythm, but let's just like take those chords and let's just play a nice simple eighth note rhythm, which is the second line down, all right? So let me play through it and you just kind of jump in. I want you to play along. This is not, this is just not entertainment, but uh, you, gotta, you gotta be active with this. We're working on this, so here we go. So it's gonna go A minor, Whoops, I'm going to use this F chord. Bad fingers, bad fingers. F chord here, and then we're going to use this C and then this G. So the way the rhythm is going to work is like this. It's going to be all down, just as we're simplifying this. So it's all down. One and two, and then we change to the F chord. Three and four and C and G. Now I will add one little side note. On a lot of this, they're muting kind of getting this muted effect on these chords. And I'll kind of, when I play it at tempo, you'll see what I, how it's going to sound. But just FYI, there's a little bit of this, what they called muting or dampening of the strings here. And it's just lightly touching it. Don't put too much pressure here. You may have to kind of move your hand a little bit to kind of find the sweet spot. But my sweet spot is probably kind of in this area of the guitar, from about top of the bridge, maybe a little bit forward on that, depending. You can mute over here, it just doesn't sound quite right. I like to kind of have it back where the string tension is a little bit greater back here. So, but for this first example, don't worry about the muting, just kind of get through these chords, all right? Here we go. Three and four and one and two and three and C, G, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, 1, and 2, and 3. Let's try to add those hammer-ons. So now let's try to do the 16th notes. These are always, always, always hard for everybody, myself included. But so much great music is use or uses these 16th notes. So a good way to kind of practice 16th notes is actually just kind of mute the strings here and just go like this. Just go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. So I'm counting. I'm also tapping my foot on the first downbeat. One E and a, two E and a, three E. next step would be to choose one chord and play that same rhythm on it like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. What you're shooting for is consistency in this right hand. One E and a, two E and a. All right, so we have two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E. Four E and a four E and a. 
So let's try to do the 16th notes, and we're going to try to go through the cycle of these chords. Nice and easy. Don't worry about the hammer on just yet, because this is going to get a little tricky. This is going to be a little harder on this on this rhythm. So here we go. So I'm going to give us two beats. I'm going to count three e and a four e and a, and then we're right in on the first chord, A minor. All right. So watch me and listen, and here we go. Three e and a four e and a one e and a two e. Give you one extra little tip on this is a lot of people do this because it's there's not a lot of time be between the chord the, the switching of the chords right so that's probably what you're struggling with here's what people do they kind of do this little cheat method of using these open strings right before they switch chords so let me slow it down let me give you an example i think it's probably will make sense if you just watch me so here we go on the a minor i'm going to go to a minor i'm going to lift up play some open strings going into that f chord sounds like this one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a And that's fine at first and even if you when you speed it up you almost kind of have to do that because there's just not a lot of time to get through that and i've seen some, all the all the great players actually use that little cheat method so let's try that 16th note a couple more times and if you need to throw that in by all means do it here we go three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e trying to do is add those hammer-ons but I probably had to leave out that second up just to kind of so try that so we're just going to leave out that first up for that hammer-on just on the A minor and the C chord so it's going to again sound like this and down up into the F. So here we go. Same thing. Three E and uh, four E and uh, all sixteen notes. you guys are getting a feel for how those chords are moving all right so we have the breakdown of the eighth notes and the 16th notes we're adding that little hammer on we haven't done the mutes yet we'll get to that end now let's get into the actual rhythm of the song so the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at the uh, first couple of beats on that sheet and basically what's happening is uh, we have down 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 up down hopefully I said that right on an A minor, it's going to sound and look like this. Down, 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 up, F. Let's just practice that transition together. Here we go. Three and four and down, 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 up, F. Four. And 
again. One and two, down and aft. Da, da, down, 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 down and aft. Now let's see if we can do that same rhythm and just add on, add that little hammer on, so it's going to be like this. Down and aft. And Got the hammer on. Half, da, 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 so let's do that just whole first measure going between A minor and F. Here we go. It's going to sound like this. 3 M. Play along. Dun, 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 F. Back to A minor. Dun, dun, F. Dun, dun, 4 M. 1 and 2 and M. 4 and 1 and 2. Dun, 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 dun. So now let's look at the second measure, C to G. It's a little trickier here. It starts off the same rhythm on the C. Down, 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 up. Then we get to the G chord. We got to go down, up, down, down, and then two more down, ups, down, up. So let's just actually stay on that G for a second. Let's work with that rhythm because we have now lit slightly different. It sounds like this. Down, up, down, 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 up. Four. Let me go real slow. Down, up, down, 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 up, three. Ah, ba, da, da, da. Oops, let me go. Da, 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 Two, three, E, and four, and that. Uh, so I'm going three, E, and four, and uh, three, E, and four, and uh, if I count out all the 16 it sounds like this. Three, E, and uh, four, E, and uh, three, E, and uh, four, E, and uh, do that again. Three, E, and uh, four, E, and So we get that da 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 da. Now let's add the C chord in here, and we're going to go into that G. We're just going to loop those two with this new rhythm. So at first, you may want to watch me play it once or twice, and then jump in with me. I'll try to go real slow, and I'll count as I go through it. Three and four and down and two and a three e and four. Back to C C. Da, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, C, and, and, uh, I'm adding those open strings in there, too. Da, 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 transitions. Add the hammer on. 
you get a lot of mileage out of these chords. Maybe you recognize this song here. It's like the same rhythm, right? Almost the same rhythm. Name that tune. Leave a comment below, see if you can name that tune. All right, here we go. Here's the whole thing with the rhythm. We're gonna add the hammer-ons. Try to add the mutes if you can. And uh, let's do it. We're gonna go real slow. Play along again with me, nice and slow. From the top, A minor, three, um, four, and. I can hear you. I, trust me, I can hear you. <laughs> all right, so the last little part of this song, which is real simple, I think you can all do this, which is playing the same chords. Playing them as the eighth note, which is the second line on that page. It's going to go like this. Three and four. Nice and all down like this. And with some mutes, two and C and uh, da, G. Repeat. A minor to an F. To a C and to a G and a da 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 da. This is a good one to count with when we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Good. Now I actually want to add one more little note to this whole thing. When I noticed that. Uh, the guitar player is doing is accenting on beats two and four. So it's a little bit more of a, just a, like I said, just a little more energy or accent into that beat two and four. That gives it that more of a kind of a rock feel to it. And if you listen to the drum, the way the drummers orchestrate their parts is they tend to accent that two and four as well. And that's by the snare. That kind of brings out that what they call back beat. So on a drum kit, the kick is usually on around one, beat one, and beat three, where the snare is going to be on two and four. So you get this, mm, ga, three, four, mm, ga, three, ga, one, ga, that kind of thing. So when I'm playing this, I get this sort of... Uh, A little bit more of the energy in the two, the beats two and four. If I count it out, I'll go a little bit slower. So we get those one and two and three and four and a, two and three and four. So try that little accents after you get all that stuff. I know there's a lot of layers to this, but rewatch this video, break it, go go through all how I broke everything down, and then add that final layer of the accents. Right. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Send me questions, comments, even some suggestions of what's, what's, what you're struggling with because I'm here to help you and I want you to get better at the guitar. All right, see you next video.